Hi everyone, welcome to my series Learn How to Code Video Game Edition, where I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own video games. And we're going to be using a site called Scratch, which I've already typed into my search engine, scratch.mit.edu, and it took me to this page here. This is the Scratch website. So to get started, I'm going to hit the create button right up here because we're going to be creating our very own video game today. So I'm going to hit the create button right there. And here we are on our work page. Hey, I'm going to get rid of this green tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. So goodbye. I'm going to hit the close button. And you know, in every video game, you always have some kind of character, a character that you uh, move and run around and jump and try to catch things. Well, the character we're going to be using today is the Scratch Cat. And we want to learn how to code it so that the cat can move back and forth. Watch how I do that. I'm going to go to these code blocks here. And I'm going to click on the yellow one right there. It's called Events. Now I'm going to grab this one. It's called When Space Key is Pressed. I'm going to drag it right over here like that. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger so you can see. There. And it says When Space Key is Pressed. Now I'm going to go to the blue motion buttons right there. Take a look there. And I'm going to grab Move 10 Steps and drop it in right there. Perfect. So now look what I've coded. When the space key is pressed, the cat's going to move 10 steps. Let's see if that works. I'm going to hit the space key on my keyboard. Perfect. The cat moved 10 steps. You might not have seen it. It's small steps. This is a computer, but he is moving 10 steps perfectly. But you know what? Real gamers like to use the arrow keys. So instead of space, I'm going to click this little triangle right there, and I'm going to click right arrow instead. So now look, everyone. When the right arrow key is pressed, the cat is going to move 10 steps. Let me just check to make sure that works. Perfect. Now I'm going to make it so the cat goes to the left. Watch how I do that. I'm going to go back to the event here. I'm going to grab this one again. And I'm going to change it so that it says when the left arrow key is pressed. When the left arrow key is pressed, the cat should move 10 steps the other way. So I'm going to grab that and drag it in there. Ready? Let's test this out. Right arrow and left arrow. What? He's going the wrong way. He's supposed to be going the other way. Well, the computer is doing exactly what I told it to do. It's moving 10 steps. What we're going to do is tell a computer to move it minus 10 steps. So negative 10 steps right there. So green flag to start. Left arrow, right arrow. Perfect. The cat moves back and forth. So teachers, if you could pause in a moment and students, if you could go to your computers, Go to scratch.mit.edu, hit that create button again. If that green tutorial comes up, just exit it out. And then use the events, the space key is pressed, and of course change it to right arrow and left arrow. And then use the motion button to move 10 steps to the right, move negative 10 steps to the left. So teachers, if you could pause here, and when the students are all caught up, restart the video please. All right, I hope that's going well for you. Hey, next, there's a little bit of a glitch here, and I think you're going to have the same problem. Look, my cat can move back and forth, which is great, but it can also move right off the screen, and, and no one would see him. So someone coming to your game wouldn't know really what to do. So here's a little trick that I like to use for every game. When I press the green flag, I always want my cat to go to the center of the screen, which is 0, 0. So look how I'm going to code that. I'm going to go to the Control button. No, the Event button and grab this when green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked, I want my cat to go to zero, zero, the middle of the screen. So now I'm gonna to go to the motion up here, find the one that says go to, and it's right there. And it says go to, and I'm gonna put in the numbers zero, and zero is already there, perfect. So now when I hit the green flag, the cat should come to the middle of the screen even if he's lost. Perfect, so now my cat is going to zero, zero. Also, I have a really boring, plain, white backdrop. We should get something a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go down here, way in the bottom corner right here, where it says Choose a Backdrop. So I'm going to click that button. And you'll notice there's a bunch of backdrops for you to choose from. The one I'm going to choose is something that goes with cats, of course, and that is Underwater. So there's my Underwater Backdrop. So now, teachers, if you could pause the video for a few minutes, and students, if you could Set it up so that when the green flag is clicked, your cat goes to zero, zero, and then you go and get a nice backdrop for your game. 
And uh, when you're ready, I'll be here waiting for you. All right, welcome back. Hey, now we're gonna do something really silly with the cat. I think you're gonna enjoy this one. So watch what I do. I'm gonna go to the events button again. I'm gonna grab this one when space key is pressed right there. And I'm gonna leave it as space key and look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the cat change its color effect. So I'm gonna go to the looks button right there, looks. And I'm gonna scroll down right there, see? Change color effect and I'm gonna put it right there. So now look. When I hit the space key on my keyboard, the cat is going to change his color effect. Let's see what happens. Ready, set, and go. Perfect. So he's changing color. Wonderful. Now, green flag back to normal. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get another change color effect and drag it down right there. But instead of color, I'm going to choose, I'm going to hit this little triangle and choose something else. Fisheye, whirl, pixelate, mosaic. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to choose the whirl button. So now look, when I hit the space bar, the cat's gonna change his color and his whirl effect. Ready? Green flag back to normal and hit the space bar. Ooh, look at that. And if I keep hitting it, he'll keep changing like that. Look at that. The only problem is I'm getting a sore finger from hitting the space bar so much. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the control button right there and I'm gonna grab a, a repeat 10 times. And I'm gonna drag it and drop it right over that. So look. Now, when I hit the space bar, the cat's going to repeat, change color, change world, 10 times. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, look, ready? Green flag back to normal. Left, right, space bar. Ooh, look at that. Hey, instead of 10 times, I might do this 20 times. Okay, ready? Green flag back to normal. Left, right, space bar. Oh, look at that. But you know what else I can do? Watch, I'm gonna go to the looks. I'm gonna get another change color effect and I'm gonna put it in there. And this time I'm gonna choose something different, maybe uh, pixelate or mosaic, or maybe I'm gonna try fisheye. So now I'm doing three effects, color, whirl, and fisheye. You can do as many as you want um, when it's your turn, but let's see what, how, how this goes. Green flag, left, right, space bar. Oh, look at that, I might do this 30 times. Okay, green flag back to normal. Left, right, space bar. Nice, perfect. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with that. Teachers, if you'd like to pause the video here while the students go to get space key is pressed, get a repeat from the control button, and then work on changing the color effect right there. Change color and change world, change fisheye, you can change whatever you want. So, teachers, if you could pause it here, and students, I'll see you in a few minutes when you're ready. All right, welcome back. I hope that's going well for you and you're having some fun. Hey, now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to get another sprite. So, we've got one sprite already, the cat sprite. I'm going to click down here. I don't think we've used this one yet. It says choose a sprite. So, I'm going to click that one, and I'm going to choose a sprite. You can choose whatever you want when it's your turn, but for now, I'm going to choose the bananas. And I'm going to make it so that the bananas glide all over the screen. And the game is, don't get hit by the bananas. So look how I code the bananas. See, here's the cat code right there. I'm going to click on the bananas. Hey, don't hit that garbage can right there. You will lose your sprite and you'll lose your code. So don't hit the garbage can. But I'm on the bananas. We haven't coded for the bananas yet. I'm going to code for the bananas now. So how, watch how I do that. When the green flag is clicked... I'm gonna make it so that the bananas glide to a random spot. And I think that's under the motion. Yeah, right there. Glide to a random spot. So see that? So when I hit this green flag, the bananas are gonna glide for one second to a random place. Let's see how that works. Ready, green flag, go. Perfect, perfect. Every time I click it, they're gonna, the bananas glide. But you know what? I'm getting a, a blister on my finger from clicking the uh, mouse so much. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the control and I'm gonna get a forever loop. And I'm gonna drag it over here and put it around the glide. So now look, when I click the green flag, the bananas are gonna forever glide to a random spot. Ready, green flag and go. Perfect, they're gliding all over the place. Wonderful. So now it's gonna be your turn. So teachers, if you'd like to pause, the video and students if you could go get another sprite and you click here to get the sprites I chose the banana you can choose whatever you want and then code it so that when you click the green flag 
your bananas or whatever are going to forever glide to a random position. And teachers, when everyone's caught up, you can start the next part. All right, well, next part. I'm just going to hit the green flag to see how this game's working so far. Perfect. So the game is, don't get hit by the bananas. I'm going to move my cat back and forth and not get hit by the bananas. However, it is kind of hard to avoid the bananas. They're so big, and so is my cat. So look what I'm going to do. I'm on the bananas right now, and the bananas are 100% size. I'm just going to shrink the bananas a bit. So maybe instead of 100%, uh, I'm going to make them 60%. Perfect. Now I'm going to click on the cat sprite right there. Don't hit the garbage can. You'll lose all your code. And the cat is 100% too. I'm going to make my cat a little bit smaller, maybe 70%. You'll have to decide what works best for you. So let me test this out. Green flag. Perfect. It's a bit better now. I can avoid the bananas moving back and forth nicely. Now, if someone were to come and play your game, they wouldn't know what to do. So at the beginning of every game, I always like to give instructions. So look what I'm going to do. Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, the bananas go to, or the cat goes to zero, zero. Great. I'm going to get another green flag. You can get many, many green flags. And I'm going to have the cat give instructions. So when a green flag is clicked, I'm going to have the cat say something. And saying something is under the looks button right there. Say, there we go, and I click that there. So I'm going to say something like this. Use the arrow keys to avoid the bananas. And I'm going to have the cat say that for about five seconds. Two seconds is not long enough for any, anyone to read that. So look, when I hit the green flag, the cat should say, avoid the bananas. Let's see. Perfect. Hey, there's one problem. Look, when I hit the green flag, my cat goes to zero, zero, right? Even if he's off the screen, he'll go to zero, zero, and he's going to give instructions. But the bananas are floating around. I'm not reading the instructions because I'm too busy looking at the bananas. So look what I'm going to do. You notice that the cat is talking for five seconds. Well, I'm going to go to the bananas, and before the bananas start gliding around, I'm going to have the bananas wait for five seconds. So I'm going to go to the control button, and there's a wait right there. See that? Wait. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to have the bananas wait five seconds. So the cat is giving instructions for five seconds. The bananas are waiting for five seconds before they start gliding around forever. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay, the cat is talking. The bananas are waiting. And now the game begins. I got to avoid the bananas moving back and forth not to get hit by the bananas. Wonderful. So could everyone try that? So teachers, if you could pause, use the looks button under the cat to have the cat say something like use the arrow keys to avoid the bananas. And then for the bananas, have the bananas wait five seconds before they start forever gliding because the cat is talking for five seconds. And when you're ready, I have the last trick for you. So teachers, if you could pause now and I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, last trick for today. So hey, we can make this game easier and harder. You can make it easier by making the cat smaller and smaller and by making the bananas smaller and smaller. Or you can make it harder to play by making the cat larger and larger and the bananas larger and larger. There's another way to make this game easier or harder. Look, I'm going to click on the bananas. And right now, the bananas are gliding for one second to a random position. Well, I can set it up so the bananas go even slower. So instead of one second, I'm going to put in something like three or four seconds. Okay? Now, when I hit the green flag, watch how slowly the bananas glide because they're gliding for four seconds to get to a, a random spot. So it's really slow now. So the game is a lot easier. So if you want to make the game harder, you can make it a smaller number. So like one second is harder. But we can make it even harder than that by choosing a number that's smaller than one. So see how much faster one second goes? Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it 0 0.5, so half a second. So watch how fast the bananas go now when they're gliding for 0 0.5 seconds. Yikes, they're moving really quickly now. Oh boy. So you can choose how easy and how hard this game is. And you can do a little bit of experimenting now at the end of the period. And hey, I hope you liked your first lesson and I hope to see you tomorrow. 
because the next lesson is going to be a game that I call Taco Delight, and I think you're going to enjoy that very much. So, um, I hope to see you again next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.